Hi, so this is the last example in the um, straight lines pack, I think. So it says an isosceles triangle has vertices at where AB is equal to BC. So let's have a look at the coordinates. We've got 1, 1. Now AB is equal to BC. So if I draw it as AC is the base, and B is going to be up here somewhere, isn't it? Right then, it tells me that the A, B, and the B, C are the same. So I'll find out K. Right, so I know that the length, so in terms of a plan for part A, the length of A, B should be the same as the length of B, C. And I should then be able to create an equation which I'm going to solve, which will give me K. So that's my plan for A. Right then. So I'm going to do a, b squared to make it easier. So it's the difference going up. So it's 1 to 4, so it's 3 up. And the difference going across, so that's k minus 1 squared. So a, b squared will be 9 plus k squared minus 2k plus 1. So a, b squared is going to be k squared minus 2k uh, plus 10. All right, so let's have a look at... Uh, uh, C to B squared. So going up is 2 squared, so it's the difference between 4 and 2. Going across will be 6 minus K. So do right point minus left point. Um, yeah. That's got a bit more space on here. So CB squared will be 4 plus 36 minus 12K plus k squared. So cb squared will be k squared minus 12k plus 40. So the, if they're the same, if the lengths are the same, then ab squared, because I'll be getting rid of the square root eventually anyway, is going to be the same as cb squared. So k squared minus 2k plus 10 is the same as k squared minus 12k plus 40. If k squareds disappear, if I take the 12k over, I've got 10k. If I take the 10 over, I've got 30. So that tells me then that k is 10. So if k is 10, the coordinates of b are 10, 4. Right, so that's the first bit done. That's part a done. Let's think about part b then. So part b wants the area of the triangle. So we know it's half base times height. That's what we want. So if we can work out uh, the length of, should we go AC? The length of AC as the base, then what I want to do is I want to work out the perpendicular. So I want that length. So I need the midpoint here. So I'm going to calculate the midpoint. AC, and then I'm going to do the length, we'll call it M to B, and then I can do my area. Right. So let's have a look then. So let's have a look at the base. So AC will be the square root of, might as well move the square root over this time. So the difference going across is 5, the difference going up is 1, so that's going to be AC is root 26. That doesn't kind of surge down, does it? So that's fine. Right, so now my midpoint, uh, let's call it M, is going to be the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So the coordinate of M is 7 over 2, 3 over 2. So now I want the perpendicular length, which is M to B. Right then, so M, B, big square root. We don't need that big square root there, do I? Make it small, make it look good. So I'm going from M, which is like three and a half, one and a half, going up to 
Well, so K was 10. Where'd I get 10 from? That's not 10, it's free. Oh my God, how early in the morning is it for me to put that there? That's a shocker, isn't it? How many people, I hope you, I hope you spotted that. Jeez, I don't know. Where did 10 come from? That's a real shocker. Sorry about that. It's early in the morning. That's my argument for it. Right, anyway, now then, that's going our length. So from going up is one and a half to four. So that's going to be two and a half. So that's going to be five over two, isn't it? Five over two all squared. Then going across goes from uh, what are we on seven over three. So that's I can't you know. I'm so so worried about my uh, seven over two. It is that's a bit dodgy. Three and a half root of three. So that's going to be a half squared, isn't it? Starting to think I'm making mistakes here now. Luckily, I've nearly finished. Uh, so that will give me, if you put in your calculator, root 26 over 2. So the last bit is an area. So I've got a triangle. Oops, dodgy triangle. Which is root 26 long, root 26 over 2 high. So the area is a half times base times height. And it gives me an area of uh, 13 over 2 units squared. There you go. I am so sorry about all that there. Hopefully, I won't make any more mistakes in this lesson. Because it's finished. There. Oh, there's a question for you to do. Uh, you can have a look at that if you want. You can use complete package or not. Same idea. And then there's consolidation. Well done. Bye-bye.